Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got the HMD Global Nokia 8110 4G, which as the older generation knows was a phone used by Keanu Reeves in the movie Matrix and the younger generation calls it the banana phone. Sadly though, the phone doesn't have a button like the Keanu Reeves handsets and it doesn't slide out with a mechanism or anything like that. You have to do it manually, old school type. But yeah, at least that's that. So what's in the box? Apart from the phone, you get... A bit, it's a bit difficult to get to the box. And uh, yeah, you do get the headphones, which are the box standard WH-108 as shipped in the 305 and even the newer generation Nokia smartphones, the 3.5, 3.1 for example, and so on and so on. Now the headphone jack obviously indicates that you do get a headphone um, slot in the phone itself and these headphones do allow you to make phone calls as well so if you like to you can use these to answer or decline um, calls apart from that we also do have a 15 milliampere hour battery and let's have a look yeah it's a bit difficult to get there a charger which is a and obviously a quick start guide so actually, yeah, let's have a look at the quick start guide quickly. So the, the phone does slot either two memory, two SIM cards and a memory card or one SIM card and a memory card. Sadly, in UK, you only get a one SIM phone. In terms of the charger I've showed you before, it's a micro USB type. However, it's a one unit, so you can't detach the cable from the plug itself. It's a one unit, so yeah. In terms of the phone itself, let's actually... <laughs> How do you remove that protective? All right, so it goes from the top down to the bottom. And then let's have a look. You have to slide it back and then lift the back. Okay, all right. Yeah, so as you can see, the phone is actually shaped like a banana. This is a fake slot. However, the second SIM card goes up just below the camera and then you get the memory card and a SIM card slot beneath then you can slide the uh, battery in it and here we go let's get it all assembled now the phone is powered by a snapdragon 205 and it runs on chaos <laughs> cal os os chaos now there are some interesting bits about the operating system so uh, which i'll focus on in a second but yeah the phone itself Looks pretty neat. It feels a bit entry level, not to say cheap. Uh, the plastic is very tacky and so is the screen. So obviously it's not a touch screen phone, but yeah, it does feel a bit tacky. There's nothing on the side, nothing on the bottom apart from the microphone and you've got a power button on the right hand side. And as you've seen, a headphone jack and a micro USB on the top. Actually, I'm gonna grab my Nokia 3310 which I've also bought recently from HMD Global. And let's have a look at the display when it's going to decide to turn on. So I don't know, it feels like the 3310 has a slightly better display, but obviously the 3310 is 3G only. So if you're into 4G speeds, then 8110 is your phone of choice. Apart from that, the they do have the same screen size. However, the 8110 also has Bluetooth, GPS, and Wi-Fi. Yes, this phone costs £40 and it's got a Bluetooth, GPS, and Wi-Fi. But there's actually more uh, features on the phone itself. So, apart from that, let's have a look into the main menu, which does... <laughs> Wow, <laughs> show you that there are actually Google Maps pre-installed on the phone. And these are actually full-featured Google Maps with a route guidance, with a route planning, with a transport uh, or like walking distances uh, set up and so on and so on. So it's pretty neat actually that a phone that isn't really a smartphone does come pre-installed with some of the Google services which is interesting considering, for example, I don't know, a Kindle tablet or an Amazon Fire phone, which doesn't come with Google services. Yet a Nokia 8110, which isn't even running on Android, does actually come with some of the Google services. 
So as you can see, um, yeah, it's quite a trip, but yeah, you can check the route if you like to. You can edit it, you can edit destination, uh, transport mode, you can preview the, desti the, the whole trip and so on, so on. So it works pretty well. You can even like type in, I don't know, ATM, cash machine or KFC or whatsoever, and it will show you where it is. Apart from that, it comes with a couple of pre-installed games, Google Assistant, and my favorite feature, which is YouTube. Yes, the phone comes pre-installed with YouTube. How <laughs> mad is that? I mean, <laughs> you know, it's a 2.4 inch screen, so I wouldn't really say that you're gonna watch a lot, but if you like to, it does have Wi-Fi and it does have 4G. So if you want to browse or view any quick expert reviews, videos, however you're on, trying to get rid of your beloved iPhone 10 or whatsoever and you're thinking that a box standard Nokia will help you out with your smartphone addiction unfortunately no that's not the case because it does come with a YouTube so you can watch quick expert reviews videos right on YouTube app which is pre-installed on the device now it does take a while to load up so I did speed up the whole process it did take yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, I had to speed it up a bit. And yes, voila, let's play a trailer for the channel and see how it actually looks like. Now, you do have to have the flip, the, the, the slider open because when you close it, the screen goes off. So yeah, it's a bit awkward position, but you are actually watching videos on 2.4 inch screen. You can also listen to music if you'd like to um on that hand, hand headset and handset yes handset with a headset <laughs> um yeah so works pretty well um so apart from that let's have a look at what else we've got google assistant so if you'd like to you can ask google assistant to do stuff for you then obviously you do have a camera which with a built-in gps does allow you to geotag uh, pictures uh, which you take with the 2 megapixel camera which is also equipped with an LED flash. So you can also record videos at 720p with 30 frames per second so it's not that bad but it's not gonna win any any uh, prizes either so yeah and it's also a TFT display so with a 240 by 320 pixels not the best, but it's a £40 phone. So, yeah, that's that. It also comes with a pre-installed FM radio. And in terms of apps, you do have a store. However, I'm not really sure why there is a store. Because there are literally one, two, three uh, different sites. You've got social Twitter, you've got utilities weather, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight games. And that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon guys. Bye.